Greetings everyone! In this lesson, you will learn how to successfully import your own animations to get things moving. We'll first talk about the steps and components involved and we'll follow to export an animation of our own. So without further ado, let's jump right in. There is two essential steps involved when dealing with animations for Unreal. The first step is to export the skeletal mesh, which is the mesh binded to the skeleton. When this is working, we can take the final step, which is to export our animations and assign them to our skeletal mesh. Before going through the actual process, I suggest you watch my lesson on the static mesh pipeline, as we are using the FBX format. A skeletal mesh supports most features learned in that lesson, such as LODs, material elements, or vertex color. With that out of the way, let's get through the actual process. I'll be using Blender for this demonstration, but the same principles applies to any other 3D software. Here I have a character with a simple idle animation, so the first step is to disregard the animation in itself and focus on getting the skeleton out to Unreal. Select your mesh with your armature and export to FBX using default settings. For the sake of naming convention, it is good practice to add SK as a suffix, as this is your skeletal mesh that we're exporting right now. Let's import the skeletal mesh. In the content browser, right click and import your FBX file. Now, under the Mesh category, make sure to switch on Skeletal Mesh and Import Mesh, which should be on by default. Next, I will switch off Create Physics Assets, as this is used to generate ragdolls and this would go beyond the scope of this lesson. Now, go down to the Animation category and here you can switch on Import Animations if there was any animation contained in the FBX file. I could use this feature to directly import my idle animation, but I, I won't, so you better understand the basics. We can now click Import All. We now have a few more assets in our content browser. Assets with a pink color are Skeletal Mesh. This asset represents the mesh associated to the skeleton. Double click on it to open an editor similar to the static mesh editor previously covered. The other type of asset with a blue color is a skeleton. This is the armature, the bones moving the skeletal mesh around. Open this asset to reveal an editor with a bone hierarchy to the left. Here select a few bones and transform them around in the viewport to make sure everything is behaving as expected. Now both of these assets are linked and can be alternated with the buttons at the top right for faster editing. Now we took care of the first step and we can now proceed with importing animations. Back in Blender, I have this animation that I want to export to Unreal, but first I want to introduce you to an importing concept regarding animation for game engines. Because the engine can't deal with interpolation, we need to set a keyframe on every frame for the whole duration of the animation. This process is referred to baking your animation. This can be done manually or automatically when exporting. While the automatic way is fast, doing it manually will give you more control over the final output. We will use the automatic way for this example. So, let's get back to our animation. To proceed with the export process, simply select the skeleton and export to FBX. Using default settings should be enough, but make sure to switch on Bake Animation so Unreal can use your animation data. Give a meaningful name to identify your animation. Now in the engine, right-click to import your FBX and at Import, Unreal should already detect the skeleton this animation can be played on. In the animation category, use the exported time for the animation land, leave everything else to default, and import all. If the engine fails to import, make sure your model or skeleton has not changed since you first imported your skeletal mesh. 
we now have a new asset, our animation identified by the green color. Double click on it to reveal an inspector. Here you see the playback of your animation now working. Use the timeline at the bottom to scrub through your animations and use the asset browser down right to quickly see other animations linked to that skeletal mesh. By the way, you can now access the skeletal mesh editor and the skeleton asset using the top right buttons. To play your animations in your project, simply place your animation asset in the scene and hit play. And this wraps it up for this lesson. Now that you have a more complete understanding of the process, try exporting more complex rigs and add more animations to your skeletal mesh. So until next time, take care and have fun.